the back up in Louis, then go cop a crib on the north side. 1500, that's a gain. Oh. JP Nation, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. It's your boy Maxim as usual back with another My Hero Academia Destroy Zero video. And uh, today is going to be different because I was really, really frustrated uh, because of the fact that someone sent me a message and he was like, there is no way that Ida was the best uh, damage dealing character in the game. I di he didn't even bother like uh, uh, building, him, uh, building him up and uh, he's just like wanna uh, skip him over time because he thinks he's uh, the worst character um, like uh, in the game right now. And uh, he's just like sad that All Might sort of is the best damage dealing in the game game but I, I honestly disagree because I personally Ida is one of my favorite characters in the game uh, I'm not going to be biased I'm going to be objective based on numbers Ida once played properly is going to be much much better because he's really really good and he, also he's going to be free to play you don't need his X cards in order for him to do uh, to do good and plus once you finish or uh, you do uh, your daily uh, sort of like um, hero trials all the time you can actually get him to triple s uh, plus eventually so he's kind of free to play unlike all might which is like really really difficult uh, to get into high pp and also it's very very difficult to build them up since you have to like to spend a ridiculous amount of hero coins in order to uh, get them to triple s plus which is quite unfortunate honestly but Ida is the best once you figure him up, I'm going to be going through his gate really, really quickly. Uh, but um, I'm not going through like through it like with the depth. I'm going to be uh, talking about them briefly. Uh, obviously, you're going to be needing his talents maxed out. Uh, preferably, if you don't have it maxed out, you want to get this one first because it's going to be increasing your attack by 40% true damage. So that would be very, very good. As you guys can see, my talents are actually maxed out when it comes to Ida. So it's really really important to uh, get his talents because uh, he uh, like acts phenomenally uh, once you get his talents maxed out for uh, like cards it's actually depending on your personal preference uh, you can actually uh, use uh, either the cold shot or uh, the, this one if you don't have uh, the cold shot uh, like I think it's called ectoplasm yeah it's it, it can serve you very very well honestly um, I, I personally use it all the time uh, if you don't have his X cards as well, you can actually use the cold uh, shot here instead. And also, I think you can actually use this lady because I, I used uh, this uh, combat fist thingy for a really long time before getting his X card. Before I realized how good he is and I actually switched into using him for time. So make sure you get uh, those cards. And also, the Momo is very, very important because uh, if you guys don't know, uh, Ida relies so much on his combos. And uh, it's very, very important for him uh, that his combos doesn't break down. Uh, and uh, Uncaution's monster or Momo card uh, like is actually going to be giving you the hyper armor, uh, which prevents you from getting interrupted by the bosses or uh, whatever Momo monster that you're um, attacking uh, so keep that in mind of course like the skills need to be maxed out as well but uh, without further ado uh, we're going to be jumping into the uh, timed uh, boss raid which is uh, currently uh, we're doing pretty well because we're um, like from the beginning I think we're uh, always always uh, rank one when it comes to boss raid uh, ranking uh, even though that most people have their Eda kind of build up right now they're still uh, they're not like catching up to us uh, we have people that have uh, 100 kbp uh, sort of like Ida right now but they're still uh, kind of behind when it comes to damage unfortunately or they're not trying enough uh, because once you have Ida build up you should be doing an insane uh, damage but without further ado we're going to be doing two runs, uh, one with Ida and one with All Might because I want uh, to show you like the difference between using All Might because my All Might sort of like build up. Sure, he's not like triple S plus, but he's kind of in the range where he's uh, like 100 KPP plus and uh, he, he he does some insane damage and, and also like he has uh, the necessary cards uh, in order for him uh, to act like Ida because I, I almost have all his cards as well. But uh, yeah, let's jump right into the first run and actually see how it goes. All right, the first one is going to be our boy, the Octopus. And of course you press the W and then you press the special as well and you just keep on switching gears with the Q. This is something that I said before and I said it 
again you want to keep your special from going into cooldown as well uh, so the maximum amount of cues you can use while your special is active up after using the w is actually three times so uh, you can actually squeeze three t three cues um, three, sorry, uh, you can actually use three Q while the special is actually on, uh, so um, keep that in mind. Uh, this boss is kind of tricky because he keeps on moving all over the place, so you can actually miss out sort of like some attacks. So uh, keep on following him, either by dodging forward or uh, using uh, the um, the arrows forward as well, so you can keep uh, your basic attack from hitting him. And of course, you want to dodge his attack because you don't want your combos to get interrupted, because that's sort of like the niche for Ida is basically you want your combos to get built up because once you hit that max combo you can actually uh, sort of like convert them into attack and of course you want to reset the animations for Ida all the time by pressing the Q you don't want him to go through his whole uh, sort of like animation because uh, his animation sort of takes time especially if he goes up in the air and uh, we picked up sort of like the uh, plus 10% damage kind of buff there and I don't want him to go through the whole animation so that's why uh, if you guys are wondering uh, I press Q all the time and press uh, I have uh, all my sort of like my highest damage dealer a link to his Q so if I use it long enough uh, you're going to be seeing uh, sort of like all might uh, appearing and he's going to be doing the extra damage as well because of the affinity or uh, sort of like the uh, linked attack I guess I don't know what it's called and of course something that you want to forget about is basically uh, the active card as well because those are extra damage for you as well uh, of course like the endeavor card is actually going to be uh, giving you 100% crit rate uh, especially linked with that and you want uh, to end the run with the ultimate of course we're going to be seeing insane kind of damage up to 10 million i think a uh, sort of a uh, damage and uh, let's see how much did we do 313 million i'm sure i can actually do it better but let's jump into the all my kind of run straight away because um, i don't want this video to be like 15 or, or uh, sort of like 20 minutes long as you guys can see all might jumps into the action straight away but all might keep in mind that he's not triple s plus he's actually triple s only but um he's kind of kind of close to the same bp that uh, sort of like Ida has right now but um, yeah, his kind of main damage dealing is actually the W, as you guys can see right now. The W uh, sort of like giving him the extra 100% uh, attack and also like the special is going to be giving him the extra 50% attack. So you want to be doing the combo with uh, sort of like rotating into the third attack from his basic attack and then uh, using it into uh, smashing into the earth and then uh, sort of like turn into a human bee blade or kind of tornado. Uh, which is uh, pretty cool. I, I like All Might. He's kind of he's kind of good uh, because mainly he his combo doesn't get interrupted at all. That's his whole niche basically. Uh, he, that that's what makes him the best. Like honestly, of course you want to uh, sort of. Um, kind of combine the W plus the Q uh, because uh, the W is going to enable you uh, to get the extra 100% attack and plus if the Q uh, sort of um, fully stacked into 7 plus the special uh, you're going to be doing an insane amount of damage and that's uh, sort of all might for you. Uh, right now uh, we're just clicking buttons we're going crazy and we're still at only 60 million unfortunately all might can't compete with the mighty speedster <laughs> um i hope like the the person that uh kind of said that all oh, might does more damage than ida in the raid boss is watching this because um honestly ida is really really underestimated and i've uh, seen people not building him up especially uh, people that doesn't spend uh, is kind of unfortunate because he's really really good and uh uh, personally i always uh, try to get his x card uh, and i'm not aiming for the other cards i always try to get his x card whatever i want and that's uh all might for you let me know what you guys like think which one do you think uh, sort of like the highest damage dealer uh, for you right now i could be wrong it could be another character as well let me know in the comments down below and with that being said thank you so much for watching um i'll catch you guys in uh, tomorrow's video as well i'll um 
I keep you updated. Bye bye.